survival. Survival? Who is this survival? Does he have the latest survival tips? Look here, I've made a makeshift shirt out of a pair of pants. When disaster strikes, you must learn to survive if you want to survive. And sometimes, staying alive takes extreme measures. Now, the trick to this one is... Get back! Can't you see I have to preserve the species? All this and more on this episode of In The... Sumito, I sentence you to life in prison for the crime of being too sexy. I knew being horny on Twitter would catch up to me eventually, God damn it! I'm just kidding, it's, it's tax fraud. Fuck! So, you're now in prison. The roughest, toughest bad boy in prison uh, walks up to you and he goes, What's your name, cadet? What do you do? You don't know my name? You don't know who I am? You're asking my name? I smacked you to the ground. My name? But my face is now on the ground. You don't know my name? And I just keep doing that until they put me in the psych ward. <laughs> <laughs> My immediate thought would be, you got to befriend the biggest guy there. I, I don't know? reckon you go to the biggest guy and you punch him in the mouth. That's stupid, unless you are also th one of the biggest guys. Even if you are one of the biggest guys, mm. if you're the biggest dude in a prison, I imagine you've now also got ties with yeah, everybody else. so three of the biggest guys are going to now show up and, and shank you while you're asleep. Yeah, 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 that's fucking stupid. So instead, what you do is walk up to the roughest, toughest guy in town and you give him a big kiss on the lips exactly consider us friends i'm here to play ball <laughs> okay let's say big prison guy comes up to you and he goes sumito you looking pretty cute oh thanks man you're my new boyfriend now oh hell yeah can i be the top <laughs> can i be the top and then just hope for the best at that <laughs> point i guess like that's great yeah he's such a selfish lover i can't stand it you're at VidCon, and I, for whatever reason, go, Hey, yo, internet historian! Holy fuck, yes. Yeah. So I would turn around with everyone else and be like, Where? <laughs> where? <laughs> but I'd have to do an American. Oh, where? Awesome. I didn't do the main channel anymore. So let's just say you walk up to me and you go, Hey, Sumeto. And I'm like, Hey, haven't seen you in a while. But then the dude next to us goes, Internet historian? Oh, Are you the oh. internet historian? And then suddenly everybody in a 360 around us turns and sees you. Honestly, I think I would just take off running. <laughs> so proud of this community. No, wait. Okay, you're in VidCon. Fan comes up to you. Oh, Sumito. I love your stuff. Like and subscribe and all that. I love your catchphrase. Whammy. <laughs> you know how I say. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> Whammy. I just... <laughs> I just want to... Uh, and then they just start crying. They're like inconsolably crying. <laughs> right? What do you do now? That's a Sumeto Media subscriber. You got to be a pro. I start crying with them. Okay, it's now been 15 minutes of abject inconsolably. wailing. Inconsolably. Oh, yeah. I'm on the floor. <laughs> wah, wah. It's just two people just like making a scene. Any real Sumeto Media fan would join me on the floor. Yo, was that fucking Sumeto? Oh, I got to join in. There'd be 30 or 40 of us in the middle of the VidCon floor. To be that vulnerable. So, you're at VidCon. You've just shit yourself, and you're about to get out the door, and then you suddenly hear in this sense, Smito, Smito, come here. We've just formed a breakdancing circle. It's your turn. Oh, man. What do you do? I'm walking up to you. Hey, Internet Historian, what's up, clean shorts, huh? And then I just take off my shorts, and everybody can see. Like, yeah, you can't dance like me, Mr. Clean Shorts. And now everybody's making fun of you. I just start inconsolably <laughs> crying. <laughs> I would walk up to the biggest, toughest, crying internet historian and just kiss him on the lips. <laughs> so. You're on a plane. The plane is going down. Uh oh, Sumito. Oh no. What do you do? As the plane is falling, I would just wait until we're about to crash into the ground and I would just jump up really hard and then boom, I'd just be alive. Perfect. There I was. I'm getting on this flight and I sit down in my seat. Sure. I have my carry-on bag. I put that on the floor. Everything's going normally. There's a lady sitting next to me. She's sort of like my age and um, exchange pleasantries. And then I pick up the bag and I put it on my lap. Right. Looking for my, I don't know, phone, whatever. And I put the bag back down on the floor. And then I look down and what has happened is someone has left a fucking candy bar on the floor and it has gotten on the bottom of the bag and now it is on the front of my lap. Oh. And so it looks like I have shit 
Well, <laughs> from the front of my pants. As you do. Yeah, that's embarrassing. And now it's like, well, okay, I've engaged this person who's sitting next to me in conversation. And I can't have them look over and notice that I've got, like, shit on the front of my pants. Disgusting! Right. I've got to acknowledge this somehow. I think, okay, maybe I'll be frustrated, but also laugh to myself. Ha 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 She sort of turns over and, oh my god, there's chocolate all over the front of my pants. Right. I even, like, lifted the baggie up. There it is. Trying to be casual about it. Right. And then she's very helpful, right? She turns to me, she goes, oh, do you want some water to clean it off? And so she's got this big open bottle. I was like, actually, yeah, that's not a bad idea. Sure. So, <laughs> but I'm... I don't know, I was just kind of nervous. So I just thought, yeah, this makes sense. So I started pouring some of the water from the water bottle onto the front of my crotch. And I'm like, no, I'm not thinking. Like, I don't have any tissues. I don't have any anything. The water hits your balls and you're just like, wait a second. <laughs> and it all dawns on me. I just got to the bathroom and sorted the problem out in private. Oh, fuck. Dude, of course I could. Why am I still sitting in this chair? And that becomes instantly funny to me. Uh oh, I can't hide this. This is like I'm crying with laughter and I don't know how to express because part of the joke is the fact that I'm awkward. Right. And so, so there's no way to express what's so funny to her. And so I just look like this psycho. So we politely ignored each other for the uh, rest of the flight. Anyway, the point of why I'm telling you the story is because at one point we flew through a storm. It's incredible. It's like seeing something of such a scale and power that you realize exactly in that moment how not only fragile you are, but insignificant. Right. And it must be what it's like to be an astronaut and see Earth from the moon. Right. It was like this, except it was darker and angry looking than that. It was like... Yeah, it's crazy. Dozens of them every second all over. Like, I'd never had that experience of just uh, just the sheer... Just the sheer... Um, fuck. Yeah, it's, it's nuts, yeah. And in that moment... It felt as though the world could be ending. I saw this TikTok where this dude had a pair of shorts and the back pockets of the shorts were exactly the same as the front pockets. Instead of being flat, they were just like angled off to the side. So like if you accidentally mm. pissed yourself, you could just flip the shorts around and then no one would know. Think about what you're saying right now, man. How would I have shit the front of my pants? It's such a beautiful contrast between this story. Uh, let me see it. Let me see the shorts. NordVPN renewed the contract. Yeah, but he's dead. I have an idea, but it's gonna take a lot of Photoshop. Upgrading four months free with a two year plan. Uploading international Netflix catalog. Installing a huge saving on a two-year plan. Why not? Integrating savings with region specific pricing. So good. Oh my god, so much money saved. It's it's all coming back to me now. I remember. You're not done yet, Nord man. You can die when you're finished. You're right. I've still got work to do. Excuse me? Oh, do you have <coughs> Nord? Get, get Nord. Fuck you, buddy. <coughs> Click the link in the description. <coughs> Fuck you, get Nord. It's risk free with Nord. <coughs> My god. He's back. NordVPN.com slash incognito. So, you're in an apartment building. Mm. You realize there's a zombie apocalypse, uh, so you hop onto your elevator. The second that you hit the button, the cable snaps. Oh my god. You're in a free fall. Yep. You have maybe eight seconds to think. Survival instincts, go. So we'd be falling, right? I'd spot at the top, oh my god, there's like a vent. Right. And so, I'd get out my pocket knife, and I'd start... 
using the knife part to like undo the screws. Okay. I'll, I'll do it real quick, you know. Yeah, yeah, you've only got eight seconds, so you gotta be fast. Before I jumped out though, I'd press all the buttons. Right. And then that way like the doors would be opening as the elevator is falling past the doors. And then I'll be climbing up on the outside of the elevator, right? Just before we hit the ground, I'll wait for one of these doors to open, and then I'll just snap right through, do an action roll. Excellent. And then land on my feet. No problem. Congratulations. Um, you have made it to the lobby. However, <gasps> oh, no. fungal-type zombie invasion. Oh, my God. You have bumped into Herstorian. Mm. If you breathe in this fungal infection, you will die. What is the most effective way for you to keep your breathing clear so that you don't turn into the Last of Us-style zombie? Uh, okay. Maybe you rip a sleeve off your shirt or something and you wrap it around your face. But before you wrap it around your face, you pee on it. Um, I will say that there is a reason I picked Herstorian. Oh, you take a bra and you cut it in half. A bra, because of the tremendous amount of elastic, can be forged into a much thicker and more effective right. face mask than any sort of t-shirt would allow you to use. Oh, that's neat. The problem is Herstorian has, like, triple J's, and so it's... <laughs> Absolute <laughs> anime. It's just gonna go all the way on top of my head, yeah. <laughs> Uh, what you could also do, if it's a fungus problem, I always keep uh, some athlete's foot cream in my jacket pocket. Absolute immunity. Perfect. Yeah, I would probably just cover my whole body with it. I love this. I love everything about this. Just imagine you are here to steal, but you don't want them to know that. So you've got to act casual. Of course. You've got to act more, more casual than you've ever been in your entire life. Just go in and act casual like you buy them all the time. Da, da, da. Yeah, yeah, I suppose I'm just looking left and right. How's it going, man? Yeah. Alright, just putting it on, right? Keep the hands free. And then inch towards the mirror near the door. Why is there a table filled with board games? They take a very long time to buy jewelry. <laughs> and you want to game a Kaplunk while I decide? <laughs> hey, I need an engagement ring and Stratego. Just buying a gold chain in my Adidas flip-flops. He knows he doesn't have the money for this thing. His heart is racing. He probably doesn't know what to say. Here we go. He's probably counting down in this fucking head. He's probably going three, two, one. Whoop. <laughs> <laughs> this guy like barely looks. Take a look at that Sonic 3 style wind up he does. What? <laughs> no, it's locked. <laughs> I love this. Why didn't he come in and go, oh, and then just like test it by opening it back up? Do you think he gets arrested? Do you think the guy just takes the Nexus back and go, dude, just fuck off. Like this is, you're so bad. Just fuck off. You still want to play mousetrap, right? <laughs> oh, wah, wah, wah. There he is going to court. <laughs> I mean, what do you think was going to happen? Uh, all right, what would you do? Uh, thank you for coming into this jewelry store. Yeah, absolutely. Can I try on this necklace, by the way? No problem. Let me secure and it fastly to your neck with a padlock. Oh, uh, wow. The uh, the doors are locked. You, you really keep the doors locked. Oh, yeah, I don't know. We keep doors locked. locked. Up, I left yeah. my umbrella outside. Thought I could just run out and grab the umbrella. Yeah, that's no problem. I'll, no, I'll grab the umbrella for you. Yeah, I'll, sure. I'll, uh, you say right here. Yeah, I'll stay here. Right here. I am backing up to the door while still keeping perfect line of sight with you. Yeah, absolutely. I am never losing my gaze as I am inching over to... All right, I got the umbrella. Thank you. Back in the door. Okay. I'm back in the door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're here back you in the door. Cool. What can I help here's you? The, um, awesome. Here's the umbrella. Appreciate it. What can I help you with today? That necklace. It, wait, what? Yeah, this necklace? Yeah, absolutely. It's uh, $2,500. Um, if you want to try it on, feel free. Um, let no, me know no, if you'll no, be no. running. You owe me $2,500. What are you talking I'm on this side of the counter. You just went out to get <laughs> the umbrella, nice. buddy. I saw you jump over. I work here. I'm allowed to jump over. Listen, do you want to see the necklace or not? Tell you what, for you, best price. Best price, $1,500. If this is something I can buy, how come it's padlocked to your neck? Honestly, you're being a little bit hostile right now. I'm going to unlock the door. I'm going to give you one chance <laughs> to get out of here before I call the cops, okay? Fine, but... I'm keeping the umbrella. When I was in Bangladesh, mm. guys would just walk around holding hands. Oh. I'd look at my cousin and I'd be like, yo, isn't it like way not okay to be gay here? Yeah, it's like way not okay. Like they would beat you in the streets for it. It's like totally not all right. Right. And I'm like, well, what's with those dudes? And he's like, well, they're not gay, obviously. Yeah. What do you mean, obviously? They're holding hands. He's like, yeah, but like in a straight way. <laughs> like if it was in a gay way, like they wouldn't be doing it all this openly, right? Yeah. I sure hope they're making out in a straight way. <laughs> did your cousin then reach out his hand and like try to hold yours? He did do that a few times, but I was not comfortable with it. You're 
Really? Yeah, you hold hands with your mate. Do you kind of like swing your arms as you're walking? Yes. Kind of like you're skipping through a meadow? Yes. Weirdly, stuff like that is normalized because it's like, well, of course you're not gay. You are gay. Okay, so if it's completely straight, I kind of don't understand the purpose of it. That's where I got lost as well, because I was like, if it's not a romantic thing, what the fuck are we doing? Two dudes holding hands five feet apart because they're not gay. Are you holding it like this or are you interlocking fingers? Either or. I don't think that makes a difference. Is it gay to just hold pinkies? Probably not. Or is it like, no, this is masculine. Like you're gripping on firmly to a baguette. No, not at all. (laughs) I do think it's interesting that like holding hands with a guy is perfectly socially acceptable, but holding hands with a woman would be too much of a public display of affection. Yeah. It's a wonky world. You had your hand like this. And then your mate comes along and he's got one finger. (laughs) He just puts his finger like right through the hole. I can't imagine. So long as the thing that's going through that fist is someone else's hand, I think you're fine. Well, the problem with slow moving zombies is they're just too easy. You just barricade the house, go to the second floor and then kick the ladder down. And so they have to kind of manufacture stupidity into the scenario in order for anything to happen. Because otherwise you just go, Coral. Maybe you could do it as a reality show. So you go, here are the zombies. They are paid actors, of course. So don't go attacking them. Sure. Survive for two weeks. If they fake bite you, then you're out. So it's tag. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Creative reality TV show, Alf. Samito, more suggestions. A game where it's like 12 contestants, six women, six men. Mm. One of the men is a virgin. One of the females is a virgin. And the right. goal, who is the virgin? Oh, no, but that's it's too easy. Like, I would just, I'd go to each of the guys that go, all right, fellas, have you still got your foreskins? All right. <laughs> there you go. I can tell which one the virgin is. Oh, I lost mine. Horse riding. I think I might have one. We call it Chastity House. Okay. Where nobody's allowed to jerk off or have sex. Right. That, that's basically it. Okay. I've got another one. What do you got? But instead of like no sex, no, <laughs> no wiping. Brilliant. <laughs> so you can go number two. But she's not allowed to clean up the area. Ah, oh, man, what would you even do? When it rains, everybody would just be hanging out outside. <laughs> what if you set it up like the Truman Show? What you've got is this pre-built house, but there's actually walkways within the walls. So people, like producers and stuff, are within the walls. Okay. And it's called gaslighting. And all you do is just gaslight the shit out of the person. They put their toothbrush down and then they leave the bedroom. And because the whole thing is surveilled, a producer then comes out of a secret door, moves their toothbrush slightly, and then goes back into the wall. And then you just see how long the person can get by without just going f***ing mad. I like it. That would 12 be- contestants. Okay. It is a physical challenge like those Japanese- Obstacle courses? Ninja? Ninja? Yes, yes, whatever. yes. But 11 okay. of them are actors. Every week, just one of them pretends- to get horrifically into it. <laughs> okay. And if you just see how long it takes for this one guy who's not in on it to refuse to do the obstacle course. Okay, at some point we're going to have to get off reality I don't, television. I don't think we do. Uh, I'm going to throw in one for a game show as well. Okay. I reckon it's something like... <laughs> it's Wheel of Fortune. Okay. But it's, it's nothing but... <laughs> Racial slurs. Brilliant. <laughs> and, and then, at the end, like, if you want to win the money, you have to say it out loud <laughs> with an angry invective. Can we get a G? Two Gs. <laughs> Did you want to take a shot at the answer? No. Nope. All right. We're no. spinning for the 58th time. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> And it's, all right, it's been five weeks and nobody's claimed the big prize. <laughs> okay, today's category is another <laughs> racial, racial slur. slur. <laughs> Here's the survival situation. You're at the end of a YouTube video and we can't think of an outro. What I do, what do you is do? I just press the stop record. 